Hey all, Pastor Stacy here. I am uh, this day bringing a selection, a devotion from Dietrich Bonhoeffer's book, uh, God is on the Cross. And this, the title of this particular um, devotion is called The Call to Discipleship Means Death and Life. And as these uh, devotions work um, with this particular series is Bonhoeffer has uh, provided a scripture piece and then Bonhoeffer writes a paragraph kind of expounding upon that and then there's a third piece that ties in in some way whether it's a, a piece of communication from Bonhoeffer uh, such as a letter that he may have written or received um, it may also be a, a note or a quote from another theologian. Uh, so I invite you to grab your Bible and we are going to be looking at Mark. So again, if you want to grab your Bible and we are looking at Mark chapter 8. And this is how the scripture reads. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. Again, that was Mark. Uh, verses 34 and 35. And Bonhoeffer's writing, uh, again, it's titled, The Call to Discipleship Means Death and Life. And here is what Bonhoeffer has to say. Because Jesus' call to the rich young man brings that man's death, because only as one who has died to his own will can he follow Jesus, because Jesus' commandment always means that we must die with all our wishes and all our desires, and because we cannot want our own death. For all these reasons, Jesus Christ in his word must be our death and our life. The call to discipleship or baptism in the name of Jesus Christ means death and life. Christ's call or baptism means placing the Christian into a daily struggle against sin and evil. Hence, every new day, with its temptations through flesh and the world, brings new sufferings of Jesus Christ upon his disciples. And this is actually from his book titled, The Cost of Discipleship. And there is a, uh, another snippet, if you will, from the same book that Bonhoeffer wrote. Um, and Bonhoeffer states this as far as discipleship. Discipleship is commitment to the suffering Christ. This is why the suffering of Christians is nothing disconcerting. Rather, it is pure blessing and joy. Uh, some of you know that I was raised Catholic and I always remember this, uh, whether I heard it in sermons or from the priest when he was teaching us about um, the Stations of the Cross or uh, one of the teachers um, in catechism, but I always remember uh, how our suffering and our discomfort was, we were told it was nothing compared to what Christ went through. So, you know, very much diminishing our, what we were going through, diminishing our suffering. Um, and so that's always been kind of in the back of my mind and always given me somewhat of a skewed idea about God's relationship, Christ's relationship with me personally and with all of humanity. But as I was reading this, uh, reading through this particular devotion, when I read this part that Bonhoeffer wrote in these last three sentences. Discipleship is commitment to the suffering Christ. This is why 
the suffering of Christians is nothing disconcerting. Rather, it is a pure joy and blessing. And what that kind of drew me to was how God encourages people to to be when they are fasting um, in Matthew's gospel. Uh, God um, talks to people who are fasting and says, do not put on a gloomy face as the hypocrites, for they neglect their appearance so that they will be noticed by men when they are fasting. And what I think of with this as far as um, the suffering that we are going through, again, I'm not minimizing the suffering that, that is happening with us. But we know, we trust, we believe that God is working in the midst of it, in the middle of it. And excuse my French, but in the middle of this shit storm, God is there and God is going to work good out of this. So out of this suffering, there's going to be something good. God is going to open a door. God is going to something. Because I believe that God does not purposefully want us to suffer. And I don't believe that God wants us to be in pain. So I would be interested to hear what your your thoughts are on this on this uh, um, reflection. Um, because I know that there are a number of, of beliefs about this. Um, so again, um, thanks for listening and keep checking out the website and the YouTube channel and Facebook and um, have a wonderful week. Uh, prayers of peace and blessings to you and be safe.